Hey, good morning, folks. How's everybody today? This is uh, March 1st, so we did our finance, our expense report spreadsheet last night, and I uh, thought we'd go over it this morning. Let me take a minute to explain the spreadsheet. If this is your first time, it may seem a little confusing, but this uh, is 12 months. We started full timing in June of 2017, and it goes through May of 2018. These three columns here are projections for we know of the route we're going to be taking over the next three months where we're going to be staying. We're headed up to uh, Niagara Falls. We won't make it all the way in May. We'll get there in June. So we know our miles. We know the days we're going to be in Thousand Trails and the days we'll be out. So we can fill in with pretty good accuracy uh, these three columns. This column here is our 12 months total for the different line item expenses. And this column here is our av monthly average for each line item. We also uh, do a daily fuel cost. So diesel fuel for the year, we're averaging, counting, including the projections, we're averaging $11.24 a day in fuel. And campsite fees, we're averaging $7.60 a day in campsite fees and you say well how can you do seven dollars for campsite fees and live full time we if you'll look at our january expense report i spent about 10 minutes explaining thousand trails and how it works and here's in a nutshell <clears throat> we bought an elite membership not a zone pass but a, a membership of the whole country that way we bought it used that was four thousand dollars and that's not included in our expense anywhere our motorhome and cars paid for. We have no bills. So we we don't have any, you know, credit card payments or, or payments on motorhome or a thousand trails, but we do have monthly dues for a thousand trails, and that's six hundred seven dollars a month. So we stick fifty one dollars every month in, under campsite fees to cover that six hundred seven dollars. Uh, so that being said, uh, these numbers up here on the top row that's just our, our odometer reading where we get our miles. We drove in February 32 miles. That's driving from uh, Country Sunshine in West Echo, Texas to uh, Tropic Winds in Harlingen, Texas. We're staying in the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, that's in South Texas. So we drove 32 miles. We just moved the one time. We spent all 28 days in Thousand Trails. So that meant we spent no money on campsite fees this month. Uh, no nights outside the system. Uh, diesel fuel cost per night, zero, because we didn't have to buy any diesel fuel. And campsite average is $1.81. And uh, for the year, we're doing seven sixty. dollars Hi, good, Sam. Uh, so we covered that. Diesel fuel, campsite fees, 1,000 trails annual dues. Okay. nine dollars for motorhome repairs our license tags and stuff and that was just batteries for our tire pressure monitoring system we have 12 tires on the ground and we <clears throat> each tire has a sending unit that sends us the temperature of the tire and the air pressure in that tire uh, on a constant basis so uh, we'll know if a tire is getting hot because it maybe it's got a slow leak uh, or if we have a blowout or something like that. So I'll replace those batteries just to make sure they're sending out a good signal. <clears throat> our car expenses, we had to do a 30,000 mile service on our towed that we tow along with us. And uh, they changed the transmission fluid and oil, and rotated the tires, all that stuff. And then $102 for gasoline in the car. Uh, we did a fair amount of driving around this month. Uh, RV and auto insurance we spend like I think it's 900 bucks on the car and 1200 bucks or something on the motorhome so we just put in $175 a month to get us up to that total of $2100 for both of those groceries liquor cleaning supplies we put everything that we buy in a grocery store in this line item this month is down usually we spend about 850 that seems high but that's because it's got if you're buying the grocery store dog foods in there you know toilet paper paper towels soap 
anything you buy in the grocery store goes in there. We don't mess with breaking that stuff out. We're running 852 for the year. This month was down 200, but it doesn't take long to find where the 200 went. We didn't save anything. For dining out, uh, 468, and normally we do about 250. Uh, we've met some great folks from our YouTube channel. I mean, you guys are about the nicest folks uh, that we've ever met uh, coming from the YouTube channel. I think that's cause probably the people we meet are people that's got to know us from the videos and that reach out to us and say, Hey, we'd like to meet you guys down the road. And, uh, so we've met several couples and we've had, you know, really fun times. And, and the ones we've met, we've met two or three times cause we want to get to know each other better. And we've done videos on a couple of them too, that you may enjoy. Uh, internet, we got a hundred and sixty two dollars we have a uh, two verizon phones and a verizon jetpack and all three of those get 15 gigabytes of data a month for a total of 45 uh, gigabytes of high speed data and then they throttle us back to where it's kind of slow and when we get throttled back <clears throat> we can't upload stuff and uh things just go real slow so we Rented here at Tropic Winds, they've got a wireless internet pretty good throughout the park. And for you know, 15 bucks a week, you can get use their internet. So we did that for a week and uh, that helped out. And now we're going to the, that we're going, that's up. So we're going to the library here in Harlingen. It's about seven miles away and they got real nice internet. So it takes about 10 minutes to drive down there and we upload our videos that way. Uh, Direct TV, we spend about a, that's pretty much average. It's gone up a little bit. Uh, but that's kind of is what it is. We probably rented a movie. I don't have a note there. Uh, medical, it jumped up this month. But as you can see, we was running $240 all year long until January. So on our medical, this month, we, we went to Old Mexico and Pearl and I both had our, our teeth clean and Pearl had a couple of fillings replaced. And it was $110, super cheap. We were real happy with the service we got and real happy with the price, great people. We would recommend it. Uh, $104, that's what, $104 is what we pay. And I think that's really gone up. I think that's 120 now. Uh, that it comes right out of our uh, social security check for our part B Medicare. $104 a piece and then we have uh, it comes out of our med uh, Social Security check also is our Part D, our prescription drug that uh, we use. And then that's here's the reason why it jumped up. We bought a Medigap Part G insurance to uh, go along with our Medicare. And uh, that's 100 for Pearl is $109 a month and mine is 116 So that's about $225 a month that our medical insurance, Medicare has jumped up and that'll be the, that price all year long. So we spent four, we're going to spend $4,000 in the last, in this 12 month period. But as you can see, that's only $345 a month. So that's going to go up uh, a couple thousand dollars in 2018, 19 going forward. But that's what it is for this 12 month period. Pet care, $42. That we took our dog. Our dog's name is Tinker, and we have her groomed about once a month, and that's what that costs. Like I say, her dog food, her dog food, and the cat's food and treats all pretty much go usually goes in groceries. Recreation and hobbies, uh, hundred and eleven dollars just to go in to do tourist stuff. Seventy six dollars. I bought some lights. Because if you look at some of the older videos when I do them inside here, they really <laughs> can be kind of spooky looking with the lighting. So we bought us some lights to make that a little bit more balanced. We bought us a microphone. Our interviews that we uh, have done, some of them, the mic on our camera works pretty good and we have a little portable mic, but we bought a little bit better mic so we can sit down and talk in groups. Because we really hope to do more interviews with people when we meet in campsites and there's six or seven couples that have reached out to us that uh, we're going to meet up on our way north uh, different locations and I think this might go come in good when we're sitting around a, maybe a picnic table or a
patio or something and, and just talking about what's going on in their RV life. So hopefully that'll get used. Uh, a back, uh, uh, found on the internet, the DJI Phantom 4 Pro, that's our drone. And it comes in a styrofoam box, but it's still kind of hard to carry. And somebody made a backpack that the, the box it comes in fits right in <laughs> for $50. It's perfect. We just got that. And uh, $82, we bought uh, some stuff to make uh, for our business card, just some different YouTube stuff. Uh, so that's what made all that up, our recreations and hobbies and stuff. For a total of $372, we spent $4,300. We're averaging about 350 a month in that line item. Computer hardware, yeah, that's another good one. Pearl, I've got a new iPad a couple of months back to use with the drone so I can see where it's a, it hooks up while well, the drone's up in there and you can look right on the on the iPad screen and my controller and see what all's going on with the drone. So that was great. But Pearl liked it so much she decided to get her one. Uh, so that whole thing, 559 was her iPad and then she bought a little case that it fits into. It's a metal case that seals it up and then opens up. It's got a keyboard and stuff. And she really likes it. It, it worked out good. So she's a happy camper, which makes everybody in our coach happy campers. Clothing. Pearl bought a couple of blouses, I think, or something. Yeah. And then uh, mail. Our mail all goes to our daughter's house in uh, Nevada and then as it piles up she scans it to us to see what we want and then she mails it out to us. We usually send it general delivery. We find a post office close to wherever we're at and she'll send it general delivery. Down here in South Texas these parks will let you send it straight to the park. They'll give you a mailbox and uh, it works great down here but generally at Thousand Trails they won't accept your mail. So that's our February let me scroll down here a little bit. Our totals, as you can see, we're running in uh, mid $3,000 a month. And then last month was twenty two. We thought this month would be in the 2000s too because we're not spending any campfire camp site fees or diesel. But the car and the computer and the recreation, and di everything kind of added up almost $4,000. That's one of our more expensive, not the most expensive, but one of them. We're averaging... Three hundred and forty three thousand four hundred and forty dollars, so thirty five hundred is our monthly average. Looks like our total is gonna be for the year. Well here's our daily. We did hundred and forty two is our average cost a day. And we've had last month was only seventy three, that was sweet. For the year hundred and fourteen dollars a day or forty one thousand For the year, it looks like it's going to be $41,741. And that, for us and our budget and stuff, that's great. That works right in with what we had hoped and planned for. But uh, we do a little thing that we call our frugal budget. And it is, uh, it basically takes off. Let me set up my uh, screen here so I can get all this. I'm going to hide these old ones. So this here is uh, So what we do is we subtract out all these in these things in kind of greenish blue or aqua or whatever that is we minus those out of our budget. So diesel fuel, we traveled 9,000 miles is what our actual and projections are for the 12 months. We cut that in half. We spent $4,000 on diesel fuel for the 12 months. We cut that in half and for our frugal budget, like if something happened and we had uh, the government cuts our social security in half or whatever might happen and we had to get frugal. So we say, okay, we'll still stay, stay in Thousand Trails, but we won't travel so many miles. So we cut them in half, 4,000 miles, and took $2,000 off our expenses. And if we said uh, we're just going to stay in Thousand Trails with no upgrades for 50 amp electricity, just take whatever comes in the basic package, 30 amps, or some parks are 50 amps, 
take out all the extra thing we leave in our six hundred and seven dollars but take out everything else and just stay in thousand trails we get to take out twenty one hundred dollars uh, we left the motorhome repairs in there. We left our auto expenses in there. We leave the, all our insurance in there. We leave all our groceries in there. We say, okay, no dining out. We're going to take no eating in restaurants. Take $2,984 out. Uh, everybody needs a cell phone and internet. We left that in. Get rid of the direct TV. We're going to spend $1,700 on direct TV out the door. Medical, we left that in. In reality, it would be a couple thousand dollars added, to be honest. But uh, we left that in just as it is. Pet care, we took all that out. No dog, no cat, no fish, no nothing. Recreation and hobbies, no hobby and leisure dollars. If you get your income cut and you can just spend what you got, your hobbies and leisures are going to be one of the first things to go. Food comes a little bit for quick, sooner. Computer hardware, no upgrades. If you got a computer, good for you. You get to keep it, or good for us, we get to keep it. Uh, but nothing new. If it breaks, it breaks. No money to fix repairs. Clothing, we got uh, too much clothes in the closet already. No more clothes. We just wear what we got. And uh, mail, I took that out. We just about got everybody used to sending it electronically, and we had just have to sweet talk our daughter into scanning the stuff and not mailing anything. So that being said, that's $1,600 of elective expenses that if we had to, we could take out. And so we could theoretically, and we probably could cut a few other things, but theoretically that would say we could get by on $25,696. Now everybody's going to want to go do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and buy a hamburger today or go to the swap meet or, or the Ferris wheel ride or whatever you know, a concert or something. So you're going to have things added back in there. But the bottom line is somewhere between 25000 and 40000 is a pretty sweet spot that you can live this lifestyle if you want uh, to live the RV full-time lifestyle. And if you watch our video part two of our interview with Terry and Cindy Goss, at the end of that, he talks about, he manages Victoria Palms uh, resort here in South Texas and he said you can buy one of their park models there for five to twenty thousand dollars a used one a new one's forty but if you're on a budget or you get tired of the RV and lifestyle and you want to retire so say you went and bought a, the one of the better used ones he says there's an abundance of them available for twenty thousand dollars and then you pay three to five hundred dollars a month for your site uh, you probably have to pay your electricity on top of that I'm not sure but you could get by, once you bought your rig, you could get by uh, on a pretty low budget. So anyway, uh, hopefully these are our numbers. These are our expenses. It's everything we spent. And uh, it tells you what it's costing us. You obviously are going to have different expenses. It's going to be different. But if you uh, if you want to live this lifestyle, and if thousand, especially if Thousand Trails Parks, or to a level they're not resorts they're called preserves they're a little more basic or rustic uh, but a lot of them are, are beautiful super beautiful we have a, probably 20 or so that we've stayed at that we've done some video uh, drone footage and uh, you can look back at those and kind of get a feel for thousand trails parks and we're going to be staying at all of them on the east a big part of them on the east coast this summer so you can get a pretty good feel of what thousand trails is like uh, but if you want to live this lifestyle, want to stay in Thousand Trails, uh, this this is what we spend doing that, and we love it. It's a great lifestyle. We're 70 years, 69 years old, both of us, and for us and our our activities and our lifestyle, it, it works great. So thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have some comments, uh, put them down below. If you'd like a copy of the spreadsheet, I've got January's that I've got our numbers blinked out. You can, uh, it has our numbers, and then on the second tab, it's a blanked out one. So you can convert it and you, maybe help you set up your own budget. Uh, I'll put our email up here somewhere, down here somewhere. And uh, shoot me an email, and I'll be happy to send you a copy. Keep the wheels rolling, and we'll see you down the road. Bye-bye. No. Oh, if you want to meet up somewhere, shoot us an email and let us know. If we're coming your direction... We'd love to stop and have a beer or a hamburger or something. 
have a lunch or dinner in your area or maybe come over to where we're at. So anyway, see you later.